Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general reading for the collective here. So I decided to give you guys a past life reading, all right? So remember, this is a general. It may or may not resonate with you guys. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Hopefully next time it will. But you can always book a personalized reading, so please head to my Facebook like page, Moon Girl Terry Moore. Make sure to message me on there to book a reading or you simply want to say hello. Okay, guys? While you're there, please like and follow. You can also support me on my Instagram, Lily Moon Goddess 11 We'll be giving a separate daily reading there as well, so please make sure to like and follow. And you can also support me on my YouTube, Moon Girl Terry Moore. We'll be giving monthly general readings and general love readings, amongst other things. I so would appreciate your support and you can also um if you'd like to post my channel you can through cash app moon girl 1111 so let's just jump right in guys so we do have spirituality and religion um so some of you could definitely have been uh, very much into spirituality or religion in a past life here i am picking up guys to be honest a lot of you very much into religion here religion could have been something um very very much of significance to you guys i do feel like some of you might have even been um i'm picking up honestly what i'm picking up more is like a kind of like a cult thing to be honest um maybe if you were in a, a religion of some kind maybe it was very it was kind of like that where there was domineering energies here okay um or it was like a very secret society of some kind here, okay? But this could have definitely come into your life now. Some of you could definitely be very uh, um, open to spirituality, very spiritual or religious, okay? Maybe some of you study different religions, come from different cultural backgrounds, or have always felt drawn to something like that. But I feel like this was very secretive for some reason, okay? So we do have it clarified by the star, which is Aquarius, so you can have it in your chart, or it could be of significance here. Um, so yeah, this is like wishes fulfilled and stuff like that. Healing. So some of you could have definitely, uh, look towards religion or spirituality to heal. Some of you could definitely be healers or were healers back then or now. Okay. We do have authority figures. So some of you could have definitely been authority figures or someone in your surroundings here. You were very much celebrated. Okay. Some of you, this could be also why it was secret. Some of you could have been like, you know, some what in the public eye or authority figures and you were in a secret kind of um, religion or something like that here. Um, something that was maybe like people would consider cult or whatever, you know, this could be Illuminati, whatever you want, secret society of some kind here. But you're very much celebrated, okay? So, um, yeah, I feel like that, that was a big, big thing here. Um, I feel like you definitely had a bunch of things. Um, you had definitely authority over people in situations. You were able to definitely um, kind of my way or the highway, what I say goes, okay, kind of thing. Wisdom. So I do feel like a lot of you did carry a lot of wisdom from your past lives here. Some of you were very gifted now, were very gifted children, or, that, or you always felt there was something different about you or your parents did. Some of you may have not been able to understand what it was. Some of you, I feel like your parents even questioned, like maybe there's something wrong with him or her. I feel like some of you were tested, like they took you to maybe a psychiatrist, psychologist, maybe they misdiagnosed you with something, or they thought you had HDHD or this or that or whatever but it was really like you just knew more than what you were supposed to at that age you didn't have those rose colored glasses you had a lot of wisdom for your age some of you are definitely old souls and then we do have it clarified by the queen of swords in reverse so some of you like i said you have a lot of wisdom so you're able to see through people's bullshit and you just cut it out like as soon as you feel or see someone's energy and you know there's something off you're like oh no no i, I can't deal with this person i can see right through you so Again, you could be very intuitive. This is more Aquarius energy. Well, it's um, air, Gemini, um, Aquarius, um, Gem Libra. But since Aqua's here, I'm just picking it up as more Aqua energy, okay? So we have Egypt here as well. So some of you could definitely have very strong ties to Egypt. Some of you actually might want to move to Egypt. I don't know. I'm getting that for some of you. Or you feel like you were from Egypt here. You have descendants from Egypt. Some of you might be really into like um all that stuff there the the pharaohs and cleopatra or whatever or, or study that form of of you know um maybe religious stuff and stuff like that um some of you are very drawn to egypt here could definitely be of significance i do feel though that for those of you who were in egypt there was definitely a lot of um disunion or conflict there okay um 
maybe some kind of discord here, inability to work with others of some kind. There could have been a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of... I feel like it's kind of... Um, there was a lot of difficulties there, for sure. It was a very unsettling and vital time in your life there. It was an inability to juggle multiple things. Maybe you overcommitted to something. Um, I'm also sensing a sense of control. Maybe somebody wanting to control you or control something here. There could have been definitely arguments. Um, something wanting to dominate you or dominate your life here. Some of you, I am picking up water, drowning. Some of you could have had something to do with the water, the sea. Um, maybe you drowned or something like that. There was definitely a conflict here. So that's what I'm picking up here with past life. If you guys want to book a personal for this type of reading or any others, please hit me up on my Facebook like page, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. And um, as always, stay magical. Bye guys.